Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some mono green Tron in best of one. We had a donation deck for this. I think this was a, another streamer's deck, uh, Waifu Gate uh, has been streaming this one, and it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I had somebody, I, we had a viewer that donated and said they've been having a lot of success with this in best of one and wanted me to try it out. So as you all know, best of one isn't what I normally play too much, but I play it sometimes for donation decks. And you see a lot of hyper aggro, hyper control usually in uh, best of one, but this is something different. We are ramping up like crazy. This is called Tron. For those of you all that don't know, uh, this is called Tron as a reference to the modern deck. Uh, there's a modern Tron deck that's focused on putting in three lands into play, three Urza lands, Urza's power pant power plant, Urza's Mine and Urza's Tower. And whenever they have Tron assembled, those three colorless lands add seven total mana. Um, and the main payoff of doing that is casting Karn Liberated. So basically, we are we are a mana deck where we are uh, getting a lot of lands into play with, with different things. We even have Nissa's Triumph to help search for lands, and then we have a bunch of Karns as a payoff. And so that's why it's kind of referred to as Tron, because we are uh, using Karns as our payoff card here. So this deck's kind of crazy. We Best of one, you don't usually have a sideboard, but this one we do. We have a whole bunch of artifacts in the sideboard here, as you can tell, because of Karn the Great Creator's minus two ability that allows you to choose an artifact card you own from outside of the game or in exile. When it's talking about outside the game, that is referring to um, your sideboard. So that doesn't mean like if you play this deck in at like FNM, that doesn't mean that you can just have a binder full of like different artifact cards. It, that's that's what it's talking about. So you can choose an artifact card from your sideboard. So we got these uh, 15 in our sideboard. Uh, we have the plain white celebration to be able to return some of our permanents back to our hand, gain a bunch of life. This card's just pretty sweet. I like this card. That's a good one. Um, Nissa is obviously just incredible. So is Ugin. Yeah, this will be my first time playing Karn the Great Creator. So excited about that. Um, yeah, let's let's just give this a try. So this will be something new. Some best of one magic. Does Hostage Taker hold Kefnet? Nope. No, the the gods can just go back to your library so we'll do this constructed event where we play until we win seven or lose three that's how best of one works <laughs> yeah i used to do that 15 years ago with those with like with the wishes and things oh it says outside the game let me grab my binder yeah that's that's why they word it like that kitchen table let you let you grab your binder all right, Har Hype Armada in the chat. Let's see how this deck does. How many lands do we have in here? Whoa, we only have 24? I thought for sure this was going to be like 26 or so. This with 24, This card with 24 lands isn't always so great. But I guess we have the Nissus Triumphs, though, that allow us to get more lands. Hey, look at that good D. Still playing the Druid on turn two. Feather. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Yes, people talk about it. All right, so I want this compass against the feather deck. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> no, Spy Glass doesn't do anything against Feather. Bad news. It's real bad news. We get to Colossus every turn. Not every fight can end in victory. So, like, the Nissa is, like, a pretty decent card, the Nissa's Triumph. Yeah, this, this like, Fe Feather, Col Feather Colossus, this is over. That is a, that is a very good Feather start, Legionnaire, Feather, and then Colossus. I can't, I can't stop. Can't stop that. Feather Colossus. That's really tough to beat. All right, let's new new game. I like it. This is a good this is a good uh, hand for Grazer having the Nissa's Triumph in it for sure. This card makes Grazer better. Oh, I Tater, you're you're just playing our the feather deck. You're playing my Naya feather deck. Nice. How's it working in in best of one for you? We just played against you there. That's awesome. What do you think is the position of Grixis control right now? It's hard to say because there's like a lot of different ways you can go with Grixis Control. Um, I haven't really seen too many Grixis Controls I love right now. It's the metagame's just so wide and everything. It's really hard to cover everything. Yeah, that was a good hand. Yeah, you got to actually feather. Last time we played it, we never got to do any feather stuff. Plain white celebration's cool. Let me keep that. Yeah, newness is great. You have Dom. See, I like Thrash more than Domri's ambush. Yeah, I like Thrash more because if you. You know, it's instant speed um, instead of sorcery, and then plus it has the threat part to it. So, like, if you don't have, like, the creature to use it, you can just have play a 4-mana four 4-4. Four, four. What? Really? Arbor Armament? Whatever. <laughs> I will aid you. Be wary of the 
ground to walk on. All right, Nisa. We need to keep Nisa alive. Yeah, this is best of one. No. I must go. I was gonna try to work towards the Nisa ultimate. So do I wanna trade basic forest for wild growth walker? I think the answer is no there. Do you have another one of these stupid Arbor Armament, Armament cards? They have to, right? Like, how is this possible? possibly the attack if they don't have another one of those Arbor Armaments? Plus, if, if they didn't, wouldn't they just play the Golgari, Golgari Gilgate here? Anyway. Hey, good job, Huday. Where'd he go? 8-2 today? With a fun green black masker girl deck. Nice. Do not defy the designs of an ether itself serves me. So I didn't want to risk it, didn't want to block with the Forest there. But we'll get Ugin in play. We can just chump block the Wild Growth Walker, take two from the Branch Walker, maybe three. Yeah, I don't know why our opponent didn't attack with Wild Growth Walker if they did have that plus one plus one trick. So I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah, we can get some two mana Karns. If we still would have had Nissa out, Nissa meant like this would have cost three, like, you know, would have just tapped three lands to play Ugin, one more land for Karn, one more land for Karn. Like, we were going to go insane if we would have been able to untap with that Nissa. I am not going to risk my opponent having the plus one thing if I block the branch walker and then they All right, so that's a Karn. Yeah, I like Ugin's design. I, I like this card. Definitely want this Karn. I need I need more land drops. This Karn usually does a pretty good job of finding land drops. <laughs> Never mind. All right, find a land drop. Bond of flourishing. Wow. There's no lands in this deck. Hey, Flizzipper. Welcome to the channel, Flizzipper. Thank you so much for that resub there. Second month in a row. Thanks, Flizzipper. That's our sixth sub of the day.
Uh, what happened? Finality. All right. And DX2 Meaty. Also joining in. Get some more hype boats in the channel. Welcome, DX2. Mortals. Sub number seven. Will chosen. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Harness the elements. Attack. Let us begin. So four, five, six. I want meteor golem. I grab statue. I want to golem away this this seven nine. Golem costing five mana and then less than five is pretty good. Yeah, once this deck stabilizes over, yeah, I mean we we got four planeswalkers out. Unless our opponent's main decking elder spell. Yeah, we could chaos one. Give me this land. Do we have enough to Meteor Golem plus Helm of the Host plus Equip? Like, can we can we do all of that? We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I mean, I would, I would assume so. My ally. It's gonna be my assumption as we can do all of that. Dude. Yeah, we could old Nessa. Do we really need to? Nature's true power. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. I don't know what I'm doing with you, Karn. The time has come. I want a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are cool. Just do basically whatever you want here. Doesn't really. Our decisions are pretty arbitrary at this point. We can. There's a lot of different decisions you can make, and you can go, kind of go any way you want. <laughs> oh, this deck is crazy. Crazy, I tell you. I'm so confused of what's happening. A bunch of objects were moved around game zones, and some objects left some game zones, and then our opponent scooped. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, never mind. I guess. Yeah. I mean, well, yes, I, I still am not. I'm not a hundred percent sold that my, Helm of the Host is needed, but this this deck can get enough mana for it. So. Um. I guess if they do have removal. Unfortunately, it's tapped. You know, we don't get to like play Land Werewolf also. But they do have removal. We don't have to worry about it. We can play JR either way. Do I want to play this and then Land War Elf? Hmm. Kind of. Yeah. So I like I like doing this before I start exploring. If we get lucky and draw a Nissa, we can play that next turn. We got five mana. But Daylight will be able to help fix our next draw. That's a pretty good next draw. And with only 24 lands, we've already cleared out, like, with Nissa's Triumph, like, you really do get, get rid of your lands pretty quickly. God, Eternal Bantu. Why, why do you got that card? That card's scary. I think that's Menace. It's a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, if I had a Nissa in hand or knew I was definitely getting a Nissa, I would have liked to wait on the Triumph also to, to grab the Proliferate land. I am in need of rest. Ugh. The spark has been harvested. Ooh. All right, what do we get? So we have four, five, six. Next turn we'll have seven mana. So I can Meteor Golem. I can... Traz, Transmorgrifying Wand. I can go get the statue, make their spells cost more. Statue first. Golem first. Golem protects Karn, right? So then, then, like, we use Golem to protect Karn, and then we go grab Statue. Or Thaumatic Compass. Thaumatic Compass. Actually, I actually kind of like Thaumatic Compass. I actually like Thaumatic Compass. Yeah, let's get Compass. Compass is cool. Am I like double blocking with the 3 2 and the 3 3? No, I'm not. So I could have just attacked with Jade Light. But I guess if I attack with Jade Light, then if they kill one of these two, then I'm in trouble. World Shaper, that card's cool. Man, people just play crazy stuff in Best of One, don't they? You can play anything. Anything, I tell you. Oh, did I have the mana to play Compass and I didn't last turn? Oh, because I could have tapped. I could have tapped this thing. Yeah, I should have just played it last turn. Oh well, we'll just play it this turn. NBD. We're not using that extra two mana, I don't think. Oh well, we could have used that extra two mana. Never mind. Uh, I guess I still can. What are you getting now?
wait, I need to get away. Do we need to kill this world shaper? I don't know, we'll block we'll try to block it with Jade Light Ranger. So why would you put the land back on top if you're just going to mill it again? That doesn't seem to make the most sense. We could just get the one land. That's not so bad. Right? Wait, isn't this whenever this dies? Put all land cards from your graveyard on the battlefield. Right. Did they? Okay, it just did that really quickly and I missed it. What do you do until end of turn? Make an artifact. Okay, it's just till end of turn. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Should I take this up first? I'll be Oh, it's until your next turn? Sweet, you can play defense. Come on, computer. Five, six. Some solutions must be built. One life. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. We got the Spires to check the Bantu. I don't really know what our opponent's doing here with this attack. I guess they just want their creatures to die. Proliferate thing. All right, lock them out. Yeah, then we are can go get helm and helm up that statue. All right, two and one. Tron. Tron. Tron's getting it done. Two and one. Real good hand. We'll take it. Eh, not, I would say real good, I guess. It's it's solid. We're going to have a whole lot of lands. So that's what we want. We already have eight of our 24 lands in our hand. Perfect card to draw. We can like surprise blast zone this opponent if they play a bunch of ones. Not this turn, but next turn. Yeah, I think cost two. So we're going to blast zone. I have to blast zone here.
Play another two drop. We still have the extra, we have the extra mana to play the to pay the tithe. Gotta play another two drop. Nisa. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land fights for us. Attack. All right, time to for Nisa to triumph. All right, we get any three lands. Well, we're definitely getting two of those, and to grab another blast zone. Witness the ties that bind us all. We can get we can get the other utility lands later. With this other triumph. Nissan. Let us talk of peace. We are but moats in a vast world. No. We're going to have two mana Karn. Yeah, could go grab Crucible and keep returning Blast Zone and just Blast Zone all their things away all the time. Oh, that is... Oh, that is messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice Nissan Leaf. You would have gotten the Bastion for the early Ultimate. Eh, we were, we were doing other stuff. We still had other things to do. Didn't need Ultimate yet. Yeah, ramp on this deck is insane. Insanely awesome. Opponents are jealous. Keep. Oh no, a red deck. I don't think we faced a red deck yet. Oh yeah, no, we did with the feather. We lost. Feather had red. Get a counter on the blast zone. My prowess is on that. Hone your prowess. Mm -hmm. Judith, no, um with Judith, like the problem is like the bigger green and red creature decks and ran into a lot of those. Uh couldn't really handle Wild Growth Walkers or Kindling Phoenixes as much, but we played lots of really close games, and I, I messed up a couple of spots. Keep an open mind. The last match, I just played horrible and just threw it away, but, like, the other ones, like, they're usually, like, three game sets that were pretty close. So this is the Jeskai Planeswalker deck. We 
will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. Together, we will prevail. More for us. are loyal geniuses. Oh, I didn't know that, Jerska. What know you of dragons? Are you ready? I cannot protect you. Are you. Mighty hey, what's up, Kurtash? I concede. Guess I attack Narset. Oh crap! All oh, right, yeah, they don't have any dragons. Right, okay. I am ancient and impossible. Your past is all right. Sarkin's out of there. That's unfortunate, so we can uh, plain white celebration and get back. Well, can't yet. They're down to two cards. I battle for the forces of good. My purpose is greater than myself. Fairy and Sarkin. Well, I mean, I have to say Sarkin, right? Then Teferi can tuck it. Gotta say, gotta say, Sarkin though. Because otherwise, Sarkin just hits so hard. So Teferi tucks this. This isn't a hurry. Oh, doesn't tuck. No tuck. Do they draw a counter spell. I draw a. They draw a counter? Please stop. See, imagine if we just had an Immortal Sun that I could have gone and got and just played an Immortal Sun. Sure, we wouldn't have our Planeswalkers anymore, but they would have, like, nothing. Oh, and yeah, I only have the two Spyglasses. They could have Little Teferi gets to bounce one of these now. All right, so maybe we do need three Spyglasses. Or just an Immortal Sun. I really don't think that having one Immortal Sun in the sideboard is bad. 
even though we have it you know obviously we have a whole lot of planeswalkers i still don't think it's bad Yeah, this is the green Tron right now, real Telster. So we got Teferi Hero, Dominaria, and Sarkin the Masterless taken out. They can find little Teferi though, unfortunately. So I guess I need a third Spyglass. Ugh. All right, I I wouldn't. I really think we should have one Immortal Sun in the sideboard. Yeah, we wouldn't have played Sword Tooth if we had the Immortal Sun. We would have just gone and grabbed Immortal Sun and played it. There goes nothing. Yeah, locking two Walker is not enough, I guess. No sword can pierce my scales. Coming. No sub out tomorrow yet. No, haven't hit the next goal. We're at 14. We've hit 14 out of 20 sub goals so far, so far towards the next one. So I have three mana. So Ugin, Karn, Karn, Nissa. Maybe I should probably gain four life instead of the other Karn. I definitely want three. Definitely want Ugin, Karn, Nissa. Maybe I should just gain four life to kind of help out. The other one says Teferi, right? Yeah, that one says Teferi. So we gotta, gotta do Sarkin. You only have three days left? What do you mean, Kurtash? Oh, three days left for your sub. Oh, okay. Three sub days left. I got you. Okay. Okay. I thought you were like, I don't know, maybe saying that you were going to maybe be deployed time. for active duty somewhere or something. You know, I didn't know what you meant by like three days. Yeah, your, your subscription ends in three days. Gotcha. Well, Ugin, Ugin can't kill colorless things, thankfully. Destroyed permanent that's one or more colors. You understand yourself. Ether itself serves me. Land, 
We are all connected. What's in my sideboard that, that I'm going to want to get here? Meteor Golem? Yeah. So that's... So that's six. So I have 12 mana, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm um, one short from playing Ugin also and Meteor Golem. I will defend my allies. I will remove your corruption. Yeah, no, I could have been able to attack with the land with Nyssa first. I, I was kind of doing the math there, though. So I didn't I didn't attack. I didn't play that completely optimally. But now it doesn't really make a lot of sense to attack. Cause I give my opponent that card. I don't think giving them that card is worth it right now. So next turn we're going to Helm of the Host this Meteor Golem. Yeah, Ugin is minus two mana. So I think I was 13 total. Because six. Um, six and then seven, eight. And then plus five. So it would have been 13. Like and it. I had 12. Why, why do you think I'm dead, Rex? I'm known for my excellent timing. Yeah, my opponent could have... If they would have just activated that first, then they could have bounced and I'll killed me, you. yes. So if they would have, if they would have done that pre-combat, I would have died. You they did that after combat. Out. Your end has arrived! I will not lose another friend. So that's going to cost 13, 14, 15. I should be able to wipe off, wipe out basically everything here. Non-land permanent? Can't destroy his Kanta? It's rude. There is no peace in defeat. Disciples. Explosion? Uh, 
explosion could be bad. Yeah, I guess maybe I should have spy glasses, Kanta. But I was wanting to spy glasses to fairy. I'm glad we gained that extra four life earlier. So this, yeah, I thought meteor golem could destroy any permanent. I mean, it's a, it's a meteor, right? Like, don't don't meteors, like a meteor golem should be able to blow up a land, like that. Yeah, like that thing blows up a land. I think for sure it blows up a land. I, I really did. I thought I thought Meteor Golem just destroyed a permanent. Not at all land permanent. Ugh. I guess the land is too big for a meteor. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna Yeah, that was an epic game right there. That was a really good game. Our opponent made just one mistake. They played they played really well, except for that last turn they should have activated as Kanta first. So they went to attacks because I think they were like whatever that card was under Ugin, I think they thought I would have just blocked their their creature and give given them that card. But I chump blocked it with the one one. This deck's really powerful. Yeah it's it's definitely good for this format. Like best of one format rewards you from doing reward rewards you uh, for doing, not from, sorry, for doing uh, your own really powerful proactive thing. And that's what this, that's what this deck does. Um, I, I'm considering like Esper Control being, and it's not proactive, but it's like, it's like a very linear, powerful thing of just like kill everything. Um, you know, it's, it's a, v a very good defensive deck that punishes your opponent for having like creature interaction and everything in just one game and this just but this just goes really big and does a good job of that so yeah this is this is a good deck this is a good powerful deck it's good for the format it's a good deck for the format that is We haven't seen. We haven't gotten paired against Mono Red. Which is surprising. Yep, Esper Control is awesome in Best of One, yeah. Um. Because best, best of One doesn't really reward you for interaction unless. Sorry, unless you go like over the top and do like nothing but interacting and blank your opponent's interaction kind of stuff. Do we have any any good artifact against Mono green here. To go grab. <clears throat> the plain white celebration of just draw Nissa, Ugin, and Karn. Last game we did a plain white celebration of just draw these three. That was nuts. Through these lands. Harness the elements. 
I have to have this forest block the steel leaf. I can't block it with anything else. I can't, like, play the Grazer or anything like that. I was hoping to draw land and just play Ugin and kill Steel Leaf, of course. That was the... That was the ideal draw step. So, four, five, six, seven, eight... Not very close to turning on this. Sword Tooth. I can't really not block. I need all that extra mana. Let us talk of peace. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we don't really need or like we may not we may not need wand. We'll see. Maybe I'll just go straight towards our ugh, hexproof. Yeah, we could have used one this turn. True. Just block this vine mare like forever. Manifest before you. Stand down. Definitely statue time. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Basically, leave them with just two mana. You can't the O3 can't block Steel Leaf Champion, if you're wondering about that. You can't you can't block an O like the you have to have at least two power to block Steel Leaf Champion. That's why I never did I never chumped it with O3. Hey what's up, Jelly Tug? They only have two mana. We have all of the mana. Awaken. Truth 
lies beyond vision. Behold, nature's true power. And we got there. <laughs> you don't have to be. Emmanuel, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry for analyzing a play. That's that's what you're here for in chat. It's fun. It's fun to analyze plays and everything. No worries. Like there's there's a lot of different lines that you can go with Karn. Uh, how you have like the minuses and everything. Like like there's so many different. Like you know you get to look at your whole sideboard and choose something. So there's just the options are. You know there's a ton of different options and everything. Yeah, statue. When when your opponent only has four lands, statue getting statue just locks them out. <clears throat> this deck is really cool. I wonder if we could do this deck for for best of three. Can you have a... Could this deck work in best of three? You basically just don't have a sideboard. Yeah, no, no, but I believed you too. Yeah, you said that this deck played some real fun games. I believed you. Definitely. No. Thought Erasure. It's pretty bad in best three. Yeah, we do need a Parhelion too. I agree. Well, Thought Erasure Bug works again. We will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. <laughs> the sound of the Grazer made whenever it hit for zero. No, the Thought Erasure bug's not a real thing. Ugh. Man, I'm one short of getting... So I can have five mana this turn. I wanted to get... You know, we just we didn't draw a land there. They killed my land and I didn't draw a land. My plan was to get the statue and just really lock them out. They may just get th thematic compass and start hitting more land drops. I guess I could get this chaos wand and do whatever the heck it does. I don't have the mana for statue right now. I'm gonna grab Thaumatic Compass to keep hitting land drops. So if they keep killing lands, I need mana. Oh yeah, there is Crucible is a thing. That's only like the one land that we have in the graveyard. It's not like land every single turn. I will be better prepared. Oh, stupid auto tap. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Could have attacked for one extra there. I didn't mean to attack tap the land world. <clears throat> Vera Day with the tier three sub. Glad to be showing my support to my favorite magic player. Keep on rocking. Thank you so much, Veer Day. With that tier 3 sub. I am in need of rest. I get some hype in the chat for sure. Sub number 8 on the day.
All right, and we are six and one. All right, final boss time. We have an extra life also. So yeah, Vier Day, with, with being a tier 3 sub, whenever you want a donation deck, you just let me know. Anytime, just let me know the time, let me know the uh, day. You know, like, which time slot, what day, whatever deck you want. You just, just let me know, and you're good to go. Final boss with an extra life. Looking strong. Hmm. Sam will get run over by Mono Red, but I don't think it's a mulligan. <laughs> uh. This is why we got an extra life. Mono Red's always the final boss. All right, anytime is fine. Here's the deck I liked in the previous season. Want to see how it does? Okay. Grixis Dredge. Okay. Do you have any preference on? On earlier in the day, later in the day, anything like that? I did jinx it. It's true. Ugh. Everything costs... Everything costs four, even like blast zoning. I don't want to draw more lands. Just getting these things out of my deck. I want to draw spells. We're down to four. Jeez. This thing puts us down to one. <laughs> All of that just when they had just the Viachino Pyromancer in. GG's. Alright, lost to the first final boss, but we have an extra life. Have that extra life. Six and two. I gotta update our our record. All right, final boss. Second form. A lot better hand here. A lot faster hand. Final boss. We have turn three Ugin. We draw a land, we got turn three Ugin.
Hmm. Didn't draw the land. Well, it'd make more sense to bond a flourishing first. Before Jade Light sets up the top of the library with the Explorer. So. That's only nine permanents for Sortie. All right, so I'm going to be doing a Twitch bounty after this. It's a two and a half minute uh, fan story. Um, a little video um, that if y'all don't mind sticking around for, I, I would really, really appreciate it if you just sit through the two and a half minute video also. Um, something that I get revenue based on viewers in the chat here. It's a video about a 14 year old massive esports fan that uh, was deaf and um, worked with a sign sign language translator to create custom signs for game elements. Oh, right. I could have played Ugin. Sorry. I was just kind of talking there. But yeah, no, I, I should have played Ugin. Okay. So we're going to... Uh, I want to take out this Phoenix. The land fights for us. So I think I'm going to let them block with the block with the Phoenix and then Ugin minus Phoenix. Get that out of here. Hey, Shekel Shekel. Getting that gifted sub from Santa Johnny Pot Pie. So if you'd like to help support the stream, I would really, really appreciate it if you stay around right after this for that short video. So, if they attack, they die. It kind of seems like my opponent may want to attack. Okay, no, they're not attacking. Um, this doesn't kill them. That's kind of cool. We can have that 3-3 just kill the 4-4. The 3-3 four, four. The three, three would have had. Put them down to 2. All right. And pretty nice and convincing seven win campaign. Burr with a big time cheers. Yeah, that Blatstone kill is pretty cool. Kill that creature. Yeah, this deck's sweet. I like it. So yeah, if if you if you like playing best of one, 
Um, this is this is an awesome deck. You know, just going seven two there. It's fun to play. Uh, I don't know if like the the mono red matchup's so good. You know, we lost we lost our one time we played against mono red. We were also on the draw with a really slow hand, and so it it looked real bad. But yeah, Ugin is is awesome. Yeah, Ugin's super good. Um, Karn the Creator was was really cool. The Great Creator, that's my first time to play it. But just going and grabbing, we grab like uh, Meteor Golem all the time. But then God Pharaoh Statue was just really, really impressive, just shutting down opponents. Um, and, you know, whenever we have Nissa out, it's a lot easier to cast. This deck's just awesome. It's a good deck. Good deck. Right, Hawkeye? Yeah, it's like you're a good boy, too. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Mono Green Tron as much as I did. But thank you so much for watching, and I will.